Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on A Shih Tzu Life and today I thought I would share with you what the girls get in treats now because obviously it has been some time um, since we posted videos, things have changed so I wanted to kind of update you on the treats that Pixie and Roxy are getting now. Basically what we've done is we've stripped it right back I used to spoil the girls with X, Y and Z treats, you know, they used to have such a large variety. You guys would have seen the amount of treats that we had to get through and use and we basically used all them and we've got ourselves down to basically next to nothing. So I wanted to share what their treats are and... Um, they're new treats, they're not treats that they've had before, apart from one, but just a different flavour. Um, but I just wanted to obviously share with you guys, and the treats will probably change once I finish these ones, I'll probably get another set of different treats. Um, but this is what we are currently using just now, and what we've been really using for the last kind of month or so. So the first thing I have is these um, cranberry and chicken bites and basically I got these at our garden centre and they are made in the USA. They are from Loving Pets and they are puffters, um, all natural air puffed snacks and they're like chips. There's over 50 treats per bag and less than 10 calories per treat. Um, they are glycerin free, soya free and corn free. And basically, um, I think they're made in the USA. Where did I get that from? Yes, made in the USA. And it's treats like this I love. Like, why can't we do things like this? Like, seriously? It actually, it really irritates me the fact that the USA have such a wide variety of amazing treats and we have the same stuff all the time and it's boring isn't it girls it's boring walking into pets at home and seeing the same stuff all the time and there's like no new variety so that's why I like it when I go to like the garden centre and I see something that's like healthy or natural and it's new or it's from the USA I'm like give me Gimme, gimme, gimme. So this is what they look like. And you guys in the USA might already know about these. Obviously you've probably seen these. If there's different flavours then please tell me because I would just love to know. Not that I can really get them but um, I would just like to know about them. Um, so um, they are healthy, all natural, treat 100%. Um, they basically contain tapioca starch, potato flour, wheat flour, chicken cranberry powder, rice bran oil, um, salt and a couple of other things really. So it's one treat per five pounds per day um, and it's basically um, calories calculated. So it's like, what, what was it, less than 10 calories per treat. Now, I'm not going to give the dogs one in here because of the carpet um, and I don't want any crummies on the carpet especially because it's new and if you guys have watched our last video I will basically have it at the end of this video um, in the kind of um, end bit for you guys to go ahead and check it out if you wish um, but I don't want to really put treats on this carpet so um, I will do like a separate wee clip down the stairs of this treat um, but I will show you guys what like they are. So when you open the bag, if you can see, they are like little puffer crisps. Now what they look like to me, and they're an example of like crisps that we eat, for those of you who stay in the UK, I don't know what other country will do these crisps, but quavers, the cheesy quaver crisps, they basically remind me of quavers. So I call these Quafers, you know, just to try and get the, the dogs used to like a kind of name, and I'm, I'm like, oh, you want a quafer? Do you want a quafer? We well, need to wait till we go down the stairs for a quafer, cause I'm not giving you one in this carpet. No, I'm not. Um, but I guess I call them quafers. Stupid, I know. But anyway, 
So they are literally little um, kind of puffy, crispy type things. It looks like a bacon rasher actually, like one of our bacon rasher crisps. Um, but that is basically it and that was I think it was like three pounds something from the garden centre and I thought oh that is great I'm going to get a bag of them to try so we did and you know they are really really good the only treat that they remind me of is of um, Lily's Kitchen's um, pork kind of scratchings like they've got like the pork um, like kind of crisps like these and it's that kind of shape but the, the bag is like tiny and you get like eight nine treats in the one bag and it's like expensive for the one bag whereas I've basically spent like if I was to get two bags of Lily's Kitchen with the wee tiny amount that you get it's like a crisp packet size if that I basically got a big massive bag for the price I was spending for two wee bags on that um, so that was that, that was about £3 um, from the garden centre. We also use the Nature's Menu, now these are new um, and these are new to pets at home. I was going to get these online but I would need to order them from the Nature's Menu website and they only deliver on a Tuesday and a Thursday if you remember right when we had the Nature's Menu um, Instinct Raw Food. Um, they could only deliver on certain days of the week which wasn't really suitable for us because Jamie works Monday through to Friday and I work various days of the week, it changes every single week so we can't always guarantee to be in. So this is the Country Hunter Superfood Bars and I got the chicken with coconut and chia seeds and this is what the bag looks like here. I don't know how new this is to nature's menu they do a whole load of different flavors they do turkey and um, beef i think they do lamb as well and um, but this bag cost me around two two to three pounds i'm sure um and basically you give up to one treat per 10 kilograms of body weight per day so it is like a super stick so for my girls, they obviously get, um, basically I give them one stick um, each because they weigh about 8 kilograms. Well, Roxy weighs 8, 3, she's closer to 10. Um, but they basically get like a stick. Now they don't get one every single day. They maybe get one like every other day. And sometimes I just give them a half a treat. They're easy to break. Um, that's the treats that we used at Largs when they were off the lead because it's like... Like, they, they act as if it's like a drug to them because they're like, oh, wow, that smells so good. Give me, give me, give me. It's like cheese. I think I found a good healthier alternative to cheese, um, which is good. Um, as you can see, Roxy's up and we're going to go for one. You can get one down the stairs, okay? Um, but the bag comes with so many treats. I've actually just bought another fresh bag because this one's almost done. The two of them are up here now, if you can see their faces. <laughs> Later. <laughs> So that's the stick there. If I can like focus. There we go. That's the stick there. And it's easy to break. As you can see, I can like rip wee bits off of it. So they can either get like a wee tiny amount or a half a treat. You know, or a full bar. Now, I gave Pixie a full bar one time and it was actually gone in like two seconds. They are really soft, but I'm like, I don't want you choking. Um, they smell really healthy um, and they are quite good. They do, they did do beef at Pets at Home because they've only brought out two flavours in Pets at Home. They've only brought out beef and chicken, but I know the actual website has much, a much more variety of flavours. Um, I tended to stick with chicken because beef I'm quite kind of funny with beef they've had like beef food before and Pixie's been quite sick on it so we tend to stay away from beef as much as we can so the chicken um, is basically a hit and the two of them are sitting down there with big beady eyes you can wait have some patience please mm -hmm. Um, so yes, that is them there and basically they have in them 65% chicken, pea protein, chia seeds, um, coconut, 
dried sweet potato, flax seeds, dried spinach, thyme and vegetable oil. And that's it really. So another um, really healthy dog treat. Um, so they get them. The last thing I have, which is new, um, and they basically got the same over Christmas time, just a different flavour, was the Supa Dental Sticks. Now you'll remember we would have got the sweet potato and cranberry ones, um, but Pets at Home now have brought in the coconut and chia seeds one with organic coconut oil, and these are superfood sticks, um, basically dental sticks. This is the packet here, and I just think because it's coconut, um, it would be really really healthy for them so it basically has like four sticks and again it was like a, a couple of pounds for these so that's the stick there and um, you can break these in half but because it's a chew stick I would probably just give it to them whole um, I've not opened this yet because they've had quite a few changes to um, treats and things this week so I didn't really want to basically have upset stomachs because this is another new flavour for them so um, that is them there and these are really really good treats we did have like the cut up slices it's basically like a stick but it, the wee bits look as if they're like all cut up and basically um, we used them as treats and um, they were really really good you get a whole load of different flavours um, I will include the link um, to Supa down below in the description box as I will with the nature's um, menu treats. I will not be able to do it with the thing from the garden centre because obviously that's UAC based and I haven't really a Scooby and I've not really looked into that because it's like a kind of one-off treat. Um, but yes, that's all the treats the girls are getting just now, um, apart from the odd strawberry or blueberry, whatever fruit I have in the fridge. Um, they really enjoy a good bit of fruit. So they get like a wee half of strawberry or, you know, a blueberry, um, just whatever I have. Um, and it's always nice to have on a cold day, like today, on a cold day. And it's really nice to have on a warm day like today. So that is us. Um, I will obviously include some clips of the girls tasting the treats down the stairs. Um, I'll do that down the stairs in the living room. Um, as I said, I don't want to do that in the carpet up here. So I will include um, a couple of clips of that um, now. But okay, ladies, what are we going to have first? Are we going to have the quafers? You want a quafer? You ready for You have to sit down. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Or lie down. That's nice. Wait. We good girl. Nice and gentle, just the way I like it. Mm. Listen to that crunch. Mmm. It's Pixie approved. Right, Roxy. Wait a minute, I'll get a decent sized one out the back. Not that tiny. There we go. Right, sit nice. Sit nice. Wait. Wait. Gentle. Good girl. That was lovely. I've kept my fingers this time. Oh, big chew. Mmm. Crummies, please. No leave crummies in mummy's carpet. You've got a crumb still there, I can see it from here. There you go. Get it, get it, yes. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, so that was the quafers. Now I just want to open up these and just show you how the dogs react when I actually open up this packet and smell this stuff. It's like, there you go, that's them started already. I've not got the bag open yet. This is the superfood bars from Nature's Menu. And we're just going to have a half a bag, okay? Because we'll save the other half for later. But you have to sit nice. Sit nice. 
sit nice. Here we go, flick you around. And I've just fiddled a bit with my settings. Right, sit nice, sit over, sit over you go, over you go, over you go. Oh, that was lovely. I didn't even ask for that. Right, Pixie, come here. You ready? Stand. Beautiful. Lie down. Stand. Don't get agitated. Lie down. Come here. Sorry, thought that was my delivery. Right, wait. Stand. Stand. Beautiful. Look at that pose. The gentle, gentle. She usually rips my fingers off. Oh, and you are sitting like Queen Sheba. Oh my goodness. And you've finished that already. Gentle. Don't rip my fingers off. Gentle. Mm, okay. I felt the snap. Alright, I felt it. But I've got my fingers, so that's fine. Was that tasty? Good girls. No more though. No more. I will say cheerio to you guys just now. And um, we will see you in the next video. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave us a comment. And as always, please subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>